let's talk about the cloud, shall we? You know, it something uh, you know, like Richard Stallman makes a big deal about is like the way you word stuff, and he really doesn't like terms like cloud, cloud computing. And at first, you know, when he said, I'm like, well, that's just kind of silly. I mean, everyone knows the cloud is just, just means it's on the internet. But really, people don't. And I've had arguments with people like, no, a cloud computer means it's something more. I'm like, no, no, cloud just means you're using the internet. It's, it's not nothing new. The, the term uh, cloud computing is somewhat new. But it's the same as using the internet back in the 90s. And the thing is, a lot of people who are somewhat educated on computers still get confused. And there's this big thing or no, cloud computing is bad because it's a privacy, blah, 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 blah. And the thing is, cloud computing, again, just means you're using the internet. You know, you get a piece of paper, you want to draw like how things flow through a network. And you're drawing, you know, this is the computer, this is a switch, it goes to the router, it goes to the moment, then you get to the internet. How do you draw the internet? You can't draw the internet. So people would draw a cloud. And that's, that's, the internet is the cloud. It just means you're using the internet, which is how computers work back in the 70s you would log into a server now computers can do a lot themselves locally but just cloud computing means that you're using the internet and that's not necessarily a bad thing people think when the people think cloud computing they think oh i've got to use a service through google or apple or amazon or whatever but no you can run things as far as i'm concerned when you're sshing into your computer from home from work to home or the other way around, you're cloud computing because you're going through the computer. And a lot of people think, so the reason uh, um, that prompted this video today was a couple days ago, I posted a video talking about um, voice to text and how there's really no good voice to text software that's free and open source that's easy to use. And I talked about how, you know, it'd be great, it's just a shell command and then I can put it on a server or run it locally. And, you know, there were a few comments talking about, oh, well, no. You know, there, we we don't want to have it in the cloud. It's like it's the same thing. The program is running locally somewhere. So whether you call it cloud computing, every cloud computing program is running locally somewhere, and you can run it locally on your machine, or you can set up a server. And I per 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 personally like I have my phone site Chris server, and I also have a server running at my house. And it's great because I don't have to worry about synchronizing all my devices if I run everything off those servers. And I can back up those servers easily because my files are small. And like uh, for my wife, I've created uh, different programs that I share with her, like a shopping list application that I use where we can type in, you know, the store or a list of things. And it automatically gets sent there. And I use a web interface, but I can also use a text-based interface. And I'm using the cloud, but it's going to my web server, my films like Chris server is actually what we use in some, some private directories there. And it's not a bad thing. And and thing is, I can log into that server and access those databases right there. I'm still using the cloud because I don't, that, that machine's on a virtual private server that I, I have somewhere that I back up images to regularly. Uh, but I could also run that on my Pogo plug or Raspberry Pi here at home. And it would be cloud computing. A lot of people think cloud computing means that it's necessary through the web browser. Well, that would be a web application, which I also don't think is bad because it's just a front end for your back end. The program is still running on my server or even locally. You know, a lot of your applications on your phone are running on your device, but using a socket on your network to to access it check your open sockets it's true and i do that a lot too and i don't think it's a bad thing just because i find as i mentioned is something people arguing about i like using html as my gui application guis for my applications html is not a programming language it's just an interface that is plain text so whatever program you're using you could be using uh windows batch files windows uh powershell scripts you can be using server-side javascript or even you know, client-side JavaScript, you can be using uh, Bash or PHP or Perl or or any language, C, C++, as long as you can do a hello world to a shell, you can output HTML that you just need to render then. And you can use a shell-based renderer, or you could be using a web browser. And that's one of the things I like about it is because everyone already has a web browser and you can choose how you interface it. And it, it just makes things easier. Cloud computing is not a bad thing. Yes, depending on somebody else, relying on them, such as Google, now, for me, that means that I'm dependent on them and I don't like that. I've lost my freedom because I need them. But if you're running things on your own server, it's running locally on your server and then outputting to your devices elsewhere. That's cloud computing. That is not a bad thing. And that's exactly what I was saying with the voice text thing. It'd be great if there was just a shell command that I can either uh, point at a, uh, a WAV file or 
uh, redirect and stream audio in using socks or something like that and just piping it into the application and it spits out stuff and I wouldn't have to have that on every device I could have it on my own personal server and and then use my devices to send it through now there are disadvantages that in that you need an internet connection if you're using a remote server but you can actually have that same exact setup run locally on your device as well without using the cloud and it'll be the same exact thing so my point here is don't poo poo on on cloud computing if you don't like the term cloud computing which I understand now because it does confuse people uh, again cloud computing just means that you're using the internet so whether you're SSHing uh, you're telling, you're FTPing, you're SFTPing, or you're using a web server, or you're just networking a game together, you're using the cloud, that's cloud computing. Don't get it mixed up with, with web applications, which still, again, aren't a bad thing. It's just a, a front end for uh, your back end, which, again, your back end is running locally on your machine, hopefully. Cloud computing is bad when it's someone else's machine uh, that you're dependent on. And, so, for example, like my Films with Chris server, I don't run that server out of my house. I have a virtual private server through a, a company that uh, uh, it only costs me $2.50 a month. And it's great because I don't have to worry about, oh, if my internet connection goes down or I lose power. You know, they handle all that stuff. It does automatic backups. And, you know, I have access. But they're all, all the files are on there. It's running a Debian system. I back up everything. At any point, I can just go flip a switch on another service or throw it up on my own server and, you know, Within a couple of minutes, I could have my own server running. So I'm not dependent on them. It's just an ease of use of using their servers. Um, you can have your own views on that, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. As far as I'm concerned, if I have my data and I can easily throw up my own server and move away from them within a reasonable amount of time with me, if I can do it in a day, but something like that, I should be able to get the majority of it done in a couple of minutes and then you know do the tweaking on my own server. It's not a bad thing. Uh, you can have different views, but cloud computing is not a bad thing. Your cloud computing right now, if you're watching this video, because you got it from the cloud somewhere, because I didn't put it on a floppy disk and mail it to you. This video on a floppy disk. Put it on a CD and mail it to you, or a flash drive and mail it to you. You used the cloud. And whether you used, uh, you know, YouTube DL or MPV with, M uh, with YouTube DL, or you used a different web browser, you were using the cloud because you pulled this from somewhere. And if you didn't, if someone gave it to you on a CD, which is fine, um, they still use the cloud to get it. The cloud is not a bad thing. The term the cloud, you might consider a bad thing just because it misleads people because of the hype around it and, and what companies want you to think it is. It just means you're using the internet. Don't overthink it. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description to my website. It's up on the cloud. And I hope that you have a great day.